A little over three weeks after the FBI brought up charges of corruption against Hamilton Mayor John Bensavengo, we were the first allowed to speak to him as he tries to balance day-to-day -day operations and defending himself against those accusations. Despite FBI charges weighing on him, Mayor Bensavengo seemed cool and collected. He refused to answer any questions related to that FBI investigation, but he did want to reassure residents that he's fulfilling his duties as mayor. He had been advocating for the state to return energy tax receipts to the township before all these FBI corruption charges came up, and he's still doing that now. I really asked the legislator to look, legislators to look into this, uh, energy receipts, uh, policy that they have now, to stop skimming the money that's been taken away from all the towns in the state of New Jersey. Uh, in 2010, we lost $5 million, uh, which affected our, our, our tax revenue for this tax season. And um, that makes it very difficult for towns to get through the process with the 2% cap and all the other things that uh, we're up against. Now, we've, we've been a town that we've never been over the 2% tax, but there are towns that, that have been. And here, uh, it's going to affect the tax rate this time. That's why I decided to be very vociferous about it uh, and get the message out that it must be returned to the public, uh, to the towns, to give to the residential taxpayers. The mayor is pleased to report that his efforts have led to significant progress in getting the state to pay up. There's a bill in right now, I think it's S-1900, which uh, was put in by the budget uh, uh, chairman, uh, uh, Mr. Sarlo, uh, and he um, has proposed returning uh, the tax relief back to 2007, I believe, uh, which would give us 20 percent every year for the next five years. So it looks like we may have a success here uh, if it gets funded, and uh, we're really excited about that because that'll give really direct tax relief to the residents of Hamilton Township. I'm very proud of that effort. While the mayor attempts to keep the township running smoothly despite those FBI charges, officials had the added challenge of keeping the same level of service for residents with less employees. A total of 15 people were laid off as part of this budget in both the public works and the police department. Some police officers were even replaced by civilians. Jobs that had in the past been done by uniformed officers done now by civilian clerical type personnel. And that saved a considerable amount of money. And is that what kinds of jobs? So those are just the clerical jobs, administrative jobs? There are, for instance, information technology jobs, uh, evidence, uh, property positions uh, where you maintain the uh, property that's come in as a result of uh, arrest, things of that sort. Nothing, um, nothing holding weapons? Nothing uh, having to do arrest. with weapons or nothing to do with uh, performing duties out on the street. Those are still done by uniformed personnel. The budget may be smaller, but residents will be feeling the pinch in their pockets as taxes have gone up. Officials blame the loss of $5 million in state aid. The budget is down from last year's budget by about $1.4 million. Um, unfortunately, we still need to have a bit of a tax increase uh, to cover uh, that budget because we've lost revenue in other areas, particularly in the area of state aid. So the tax increase that's right now scheduled to take place would be uh, two cents. It's the first tax increase in four years on the municipal portion of the budget. And on a, the average assessed home in the town, which is about $150,000, that would represent an increase of about $30 a year or $2.50 a month. Councilman Dave Kenny defended that tax hike. Considering the price of gasoline has gone up so much, uh, medical insurance has gone up. There's a lot of expenses that have gone up. We still have wage increases because we're under union contracts that will expire June 30 of 2013. Um, even despite that, it's only a 1.8% increase after we've had four budgets with no tax increase. So, you know, the, the business is being handled well by this administration still. Um, but, I mean, using that same argument, yeah, the price of gasoline is going up, a bunch of prices are going up, so can residents afford? It's a small tax hike, but it's still a tax hike. Look, we would like to keep the, uh, the tax rate flat. The only way to do that would be to lay off people. Keeping taxes flat would have required laying off even more township employees. Residents will get the opportunity to voice their concerns about the budget at council's first meeting in June. Reporting in Hamilton, Sibyl Morancy, WZBN News.